All right, guys, we are going to attempt to make one that goes side to side, and I'm not quite sure how this works, so bear with me as, you know, we might make some mistakes along the way, but I think it's important that we note that we don't always have to be perfect. That's part of the making process. And so I know that for this first part, I know that I'm going to need a bar across to make this this one work. So I think I'm just going to use this piece. I'm not even going to cut it, even though I know it's a, it's a little big, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to glue this on when my hot glue gun is ready. And then I think from there, we will try to make it work. So I don't know if this is on yet. Nope, not yet. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to need my thought process is a circle that's going to go through this cam here with like a skewer. And so maybe I can get that ready while we're waiting. My thought is that it's going to go through here and then through this. somehow and that's what's going to create this to spin and then on here is going to be a skewer that is actually then going to be the object and so I've got to figure out how to actually do that so while I wait for my glue gun to warm up maybe we can we can figure that part out so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cut out a little square for my skewer to, to be on. So I'm just going to stick him right through, I think, just like so. And I might have to get a little glue on him, so let's see if my glue gun's ready. It is. That's good. So I'm going to stick some glue on him. See if I can get this glue to go in this hole here. That's going to be a challenge, but I think we can do it. We're going to let that dry here for a minute. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to glue this guy on. And I'm thinking we do that in there. i got to line this up so that skewer will line up. So... Maybe right here in this spot, just like so. So we'll go ahead and glue that in. Okay, so I think I've got it figured out, at least what I did was while I was trying to problem solve, I, I hot glued my stem, as you can see right here, to this canvas to kind of hold it in place. It's centered. And I just put the hand on there. Something that I know that was important for me earlier to learn is keep that tight to the, the foam. I had it further out and it was just too hard to turn. And so, um, just through some experimentation and trial and error, um, what I ended up doing was, you saw me glue the, the skewer into this piece of cardboard and hold that in place. And then, what I did was, I just, on up to the side, I put another part of a skewer through the edge, as you can see there. Um, so, when I push this through, and you can see I extended my slot a little bit because I made I made mistakes, right? And that's okay. Like we can cover that up. Nothing has to be perfect. That's the beauty of tinkering is learning and just trying to figure out how things work. Um, and so what I've done is I've put a little hole right there on the edge, and that's what this this rod is going to go into. Now I could probably what I need to do is probably add another piece of foam just to kind of tighten things up here. But for the sake of the demo. I'll just show you it's like that. So this skewer is going through the cardboard and then into this foam circle here. And now when I turn this, you can see that it's going up and down and kind of side to side here a little bit. Um, and I think as I get this a little more loose in here, it's just a little shaky. I want it to be able to go side to side and I want it to go up and down at the same time. So you can kind of see now. So now you'll be able to see how this, it's going to the side, but it's going up and down. 
kind of working side to side. So the next one that we'll make is similar, but yet it really will make it go side to side, and I'll show you how that's done. So the first step, the finishing touches, I'm just gonna stick some foam in here just to keep that spacing. And then um, this one will be good. I added a little tabletop to the top, and there's our, our next one. This up and down, kind of side to side, building it from the side here.